I'm Voltron 00X and this is a full review of the Acer Chromebook 15. Until recently, Chromebooks were available mostly in 11.6 and 13.3 inch form factors, with the largest available model being the HP Chromebook 14. Among general consumers, however, the 15.6 inch form factor continues to be very popular, meaning that there's an entire section of the potential marketplace that wasn't being serviced at all. Thanks to Acer, this is no longer the case. Behold the Acer Chromebook 15. Yes, as you can see, compared to an 11.6 inch Chromebook, the Acer 15 on the right is much, much larger and okay, yes, it isn't quite that dramatic. Tipping the scales at 4.8 pounds, this Chromebook is all plastic but feels relatively well constructed as is usually the case with Acer's Chromebooks. The lid is textured this time rather than the smooth finish on the Chromebook 13. Before getting any further, understand that this device is portable and it is a laptop, but you probably won't want to be throwing it in your backpack all day, every day. It's better for use around the house in different rooms rather than something that you're going to be carrying everywhere with you. The nearly two pound difference between this and the Toshiba Chromo 2 is easily noticed both in the hand and in a laptop case or a backpack. This Chromebook is available in a range of versions, from a $199 budget model with a Baytrail Celeron to a $499 model with a Broadwell Core i5 processor. But most people should choose one of the middle tier specs, either the $299 or $349 version. Both of these feature the Broadwell Celeron 3205U processor, 4GB of RAM, and a full HD IPS display. At $299, you get a 16GB SSD, and the $349 version upgrades that to a 32GB SSD. All the different versions have the same ports and I.O. You get a full-size SD card slot, a full-size HDMI out, one USB 3.0 port, a USB 2.0 port, and one headphone microphone combo jack. The 3205U processor provides fantastic performance in Chrome OS, with Octane benchmarks about 20% higher than its predecessor. This device will boot in about 5 seconds, turn off and wake from sleep more or less instantly. It has the 4GB of RAM paired with this processor means that you can easily throw a dozen or more Chrome tabs at this, have them all open at once, and not experience lag. Or the Chromebook 15 has a nice responsive trackpad and loud up-facing speakers. The keyboard feels similar to the one on the Chromebook 13 as far as travel and response, but in this form factor, I didn't like it quite as much as I did on the smaller, flatter 13. The screen is IPS, which means it has great viewing angles, and it has a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080 For a Chromebook, or really any laptop in the $300 range, this is a very good screen, perfectly fine for combined use like web browsing, watching YouTube, streaming Netflix, and so on. However, it is not nearly as good as the fantastic screen on the Toshiba Chromebook 2, which is much brighter and has better contrast and color accuracy. It's a good screen, but not a great screen. You can expect to get around 8 hours of mixed use on a single charge, which is quite good for a 15.6 inch laptop in this price range. If you're looking to use Crouton on this device to access Ubuntu, the 349 or 499 versions make great machines for that. Even on the 3205U Celeron, Minecraft and Firefox both ran great, and the updated Intel HD graphics let you run Source Engine games through Steam and any number of other uh, Ubuntu applications. All in all, this is a nice release from Acer. I do wish the screen quality was on par with the Toshiba Chromebook 2, but as it is, it is still a dramatic improvement over the screens on the Acer Chromebook 13 or the C720. If you're looking for a 15.6 inch Chromebook, this is an easy recommendation. It's the only one you can get. But fortunately, it's also a well-built, affordable, and high-performing device when considering the price point. Just be aware, it is pretty big. <laughs>